I'm Elizabeth Byland with Our State Magazine. We're following our animal instincts to the Carolina Tiger Rescue, a wildlife sanctuary dedicated to saving and protecting big cats. So hop in and let's uncover another best kept secret in the triangle. Located near Pittsboro, North Carolina, this 55-acre facility is home to over 40 wildcats. All public tours are prearranged and limited in numbers, creating a special experience for visitors. When those kids, and big kids, see those tigers, their eyes just get huge because they are so magnificent. Visitors looking for more time with these amazing animals can volunteer as a tour guide. Being a tour guide here, you hear some pretty funny things. People come and they say, are the animals just all running around? No, it's not Jurassic Park. They're all in separate enclosures. And then also we are a no-touch facility. So that means we don't touch them. Oh, that tiger right there, his name is Capriccio. And he's a big boy. Yeah. And he's brother to Carolina. There are about 10,000 tigers in captivity in the United States. You know how many are in the wild? How many? 3,900. Oh there are more tigers in Texas than there are in the wild. They've had such rough beginnings, so many of them, and it's so gratifying to see they're in a happy, healthy place where they can live with dignity. Would you like to learn how to talk tiger, Elizabeth? Yes. Okay. Of course. Now, it's a social greeting. It's called a chuffle. So we're going to chuff. That's the verb. So it's a raspberry sound with the Oh, kind with of a throw, what? Raspberry, kind of a. Throw your head back a little bit. Is that right? Are they, am I talking? I think it. Yeah. Do I sound tiger? Ask him. <laughs> I don't know if they you like my tiger. There are 10 different species here, and all of them know when it's feeding time. As an animal care volunteer, uh, one of the main things that we're going to be doing uh, is a lot of feeding. Okay. Uh, so, put these on. Gotcha. So, what's on the menu today? Um, so, Raja, who is the tiger behind us, is going to be getting uh, raw chicken. Delicious. Uh, yes. Okay. So, just stay three feet away. Yeah. Yep. So, when I'm ready to feed him, then I'll just drop a chicken quarter down. Yeah, so you can go ahead and toss the next piece down. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Okay. I did it. You did it. I did it. <laughs> you fed a tiger. I fed a tiger. Being even this close to it is it's kind of the most magnificent thing I think I've experienced in quite a long time. See you, Raja. What happens when you come here and start to volunteer, and I had no idea this would happen to me as much as it did, is these animals really grab your heart. So what's next? Next we're gonna be handing out some enrichment. Oh my gosh, LA, you got us lunch? You didn't have to do that. Not lunch for us, enrichment for the animals. In the box there are a bunch of smaller boxes um, <laughs> and it's sprayed with some uh, nice cologne and I believe there's some raw chicken in here. Could have that for lunch. So they like just go to town, it's like Christmas. It's like Christmas. We're giving this out to fend off boredom because they have a lot of free time on their hands being in captivity. <laughs> it's bow time. The white tiger, that saber, looks like he is definitely enjoying that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Animal care volunteers have to be here a minimum of 16 hours per month. Check. So um, they can set their own schedule. Do I have to take a test? There are some tests, Okay. but we'll train you. Okay, great. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So after a long day of volunteering at the Carolina Tiger Rescue, I'm looking forward to a well-deserved cat nap. Till next time. <laughs>